National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock tonight. This is for pretty much all of eastern Idaho, but here's what we're watching right now. This system that's making its way towards Georgetown right now into the Blackfoot Mountains, pushing into Bear Lake County, into parts of Afton, Star Valley, Teton Valley a little bit later tonight. We're talking gusts of wind 45 50 miles per hour hail falling so not a good night to be outside tonight so you might want to seek your shelter wind advisory this starts up tomorrow morning thursday 9 a.m goes until 9 p.m all these areas shaded in yellow so i-15 corridor from I idaho falls through pocatello i-86 corridor making its way to twin falls 45 to 50 mile per hour gusts, 35 mile per hour sustained winds. If you have a high profile vehicle, you'll be noticing that. So be careful as you're driving. Also, not a good day to take the boat out on the water. You're going to have a lot of rough chop out there on the reservoir. 85 degrees right now, Pocatello, cloudy skies. We had a little bit of rain earlier today. Single digit wind speeds, sunny and 82 through Idaho Falls. Also with the single digit wind speeds, some temperatures around the region here. You can see 80s for much of the Snake River Plain. Rexburg in the middle 70s, Dubois in the middle 70s, Arkansas still in the 80s in through there near the site and far as wind speeds go here you can see single digit wind speeds from Idaho Falls Blackfoot Pocatello Fort Hall Chubbuck and in through the Power County area here's another look at that satellite radar as you can see this system just the tail end of this another one's right behind it that could develop a couple more thunderstorms headed our way but overnight tonight we're looking at mostly cloudy skies for the Snake River Plain down into the 50s and 60s for our overnight lows in through the highlands in western Wyoming mostly cloudy skies 50s some 40s in through Yellowstone for those lows and then for the Central Mountains some clouds passing through 50s for salmon chalice Mackie 40s for standing as we move into your Thursday, we're looking for partly cloudy skies through the central mountains back up in the 70s, so a little bit cooler tomorrow. 70s for much of the area. Stanley only in the middle 60s for a high. Continuing chance of thunderstorms into your Thursday for the highlands, western Wyoming, Jackson, Afton. We're looking at 70s, 60s for Yellowstone. Dubois hitting a high of 80. And for the Snake River Plain, partly cloudy. Winds will pick up in the afternoon, so the morning you might say, oh, this will be nice. Get your stuff done in the morning because it's going to be windy tomorrow afternoon. 80 so cooler for tomorrow. We're in the upper 80s today, low 80s for Idaho Falls, Pocatello, and Blackfoot. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast. Once we get done with tomorrow, we'll hang out in the 80s one more day for Friday. Then for your weekend, looking at 90-degree weather, hot weather, sunshine, so very nice. Things settle down for your weekend. Blackfoot also uh, very nice for the uh, Celebrate Blackfoot coming in on Saturday. We're looking at 92 degrees, sunshine and hot, so make sure you drink lots of water, stay hydrated, Use that SPF 800. You're going to need it. Idaho Falls, windy tomorrow, breezy for Friday, and then a nice weekend. We're looking at highs in the low 90s, back into the 80s for next week, low to middle 80s. Rexburg, some winds tomorrow, 80 for the high, 70s for Friday, back into the 80s and 90s for your weekend with overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. Teton area, as we mentioned, chance of those thunderstorms tomorrow, 75 for the high, 71 for Friday. Then it's going to be a weekend in the 80s. Yeah. Madonna. Looking at all that 80s music, Depeche Mode, there you go. Living in the 80s for the weekend. Central Mountains, chances of some uh, breezy conditions tomorrow. 70s for the high, 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Misty?